everybody and welcome to Photo Mike's Garage. Today we're taking the beast, a 1973 Camaro, my Z28. We're taking that to IWE rear ends only. They are a rear end specialist and they're gonna work on the rear end of this car. How many times can I say rear end in this video? So basically, right now I have 410 gears which I put in this car when I was young and foolish and just thinking about the stoplight Grand Prix. So now I want something that is highway friendly, so I'm going to put in 3.42 gears. That should make the car highway friendly again. Looking forward to that. And one more thing I'm going to get IWE to check is the drive shaft angle. I think there's some vibration in this car. I'm going to get them to check the drive shaft angle to make sure it's within specifications. Um, hopefully, I'll make everything a little bit smoother in this car. So that's where we're going today. So next stop is at the shop. A few moments later. Okay, I just dropped my car off. It's right over there. That's my Camaro. I've left it at the shop. IWE rear ends only they're gonna change out my ratio for me and they're gonna check out the drive shaft angles and I've got this fantastic courtesy car this is what looks to me like a Grand Prix yeah this is a gray Pontiac Grand Prix and this is a wonderful opportunity not only do I get to leave my car and get my new rear end gears installed but I get to do a review of this beautiful car Okay, so it's sort of like a metallic gray with a matte finish, which has been brought on by the excessive use and no polishing of the car. It's got some extra flares installed here. You can see where they actually push this out to make a flare for wider tires. Um, I think this car is also pretty good for drifting. It's got some extra aerodynamic holes to allow uh, cooling in for the brakes right there. And uh, yeah, I've never driven one of these. This is a rare opportunity to finally get in one of these cars. Uh, I'm going to do a full review of the driving characteristics soon, but just right now we're doing the, uh, the outside look of the car. Um, okay, we have the, the extra cost wheel covers with a special camouflage pattern. That's sort of like a wrap right there. And Obviously, we're, we're calling out for IWE rear ends only right there. So this is, this is gonna be a rear treat. So now let's take a look at the interior. Okay, the door, it's a little dirty. A little dirty. Um, yeah. But this is a performance car. Uh, I can see a raisin in the back seat, so if we get hungry, you can eat later. <laughs> Comes with air fresheners and crayons for the kids. So this is the courtesy car and we are going to do a test drive now to see how this car really handles. Okay, my first driving impressions of the uh, Grand Prix. I, I'm not sure exactly what year this is. It's the classic style. So probably the late 90s, I'm not really sure. It could be early 2000s too. Um, it's got a nice vibration which shows that it's got a lot of power. And, oh. Did you feel that? That was incredible. Incredible acceleration in this, in this Grand Prix. Um, I just went right through that yellow light, no problem. And we'll do a little bit of handling tests here. Okay, it handles really good. They're this gonna, is a great car. They're gonna think you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Driving position is good, it's very cushy. Uh, the car, the, the seat has already been form fitted by a 250 pound large man already. So it fits me fine. I kind of sink into it. Um, windshield washers are not working, so the windshield's a little bit dirty. Uh, it's got lots of space in here. Gauges are very clear. Oh, accelerate. Did you hear that? That was pretty good. That's the sound of power. If you want power, 
forget all these exotic cars, just get yourself a Pontiac Grand Prix. Okay, are we ready for acceleration test number one? Conjonas. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, this is. Uh, I say this car is well worth the money. And since we got it for free, that's what it's worth. <laughs> okay, we've had an exhilarating test drive in the Grand Prix. I'd say that it's a very. I mean, the handling is similar to maybe a Ferrari 488. I would say. Um, steering's a little bit slower, but maybe. Uh, Lamborghini Huracan, something like that. It's pretty good. Now we're going to see what the powerhouse is underneath this gray hood. Uh, oh yeah. And there we have, in all its glory, a V6. That's why this car is so powerful. It's got a V6. Wow, just look at that. Now of course this motor has a little bit of patina on it. That just makes it more valuable. Okay, the test drive's gone well. I highly recommend a 1999 Grand Prix if you can find one. But I am looking forward to getting my Z28 back, uh, hopefully soon. Um, as much as I like this car, with all the custom scrapes and dents, I still want my Camaro back. Back at the shop, IWE, rear ends only. The Camaro's ready to go. I have to give up this beautiful car. It's a real shame. It was a great test drive. I think you saw what I did there. It was a fantastic handling, a beautiful car. So let's say goodbye to the wonderful 1999 Pontiac Grand Prix. Goodbye. Later. Bye. Hey, how you doing? Good, how about you? Not too bad. That was a bit of money, but the car's gonna drive a lot better. And look at this. Yeah, she's not perfect, but she sure looks good, that's for sure. Not perfect. Okay, so I got the new gears. I've just taken it on a very short drive, so these are just my first impressions. Yes, uh, and the car does not have to rev as high. The gears are more usable. So overall, so far, I'm very happy with getting the 342 gears at IWE. Anyway, thanks for watching Photo Mike's Garage. I will see you next time.